the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Monday, Ingleside. I hope you guys are wearing black today because today's spirit day is blackout. I'm wearing black today, but tomorrow I will be twinning with someone. So find a friend because tomorrow, because tomorrow is twin day. As for the rest of the week, Wednesday is movie character day. Thursday, May 20th is neon day. And to end the year off on a bright note, you wear your favorite neon clothes. And finally, Friday, May 21st is comfy clothes day. Relax at the end of the week in your favorite comfy clothes. Make sure that the you guys are still following the dress code when participating in Spirit Day. Another reminder is that there will be an NJHS introduction ceremony today. That sounds really fun, but I want to hear the daily sports update. Now to sports with Barry. <laughs> Hey Ingleside, it's Barry here with Sports. The NFL schedule was just released and the Cardinals' first preseason game is on August 20th at 5 p.m. against the Chiefs. According to ESPN, the best matchup in the preseason is the Dallas Cowboys against the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers on September 9th. Aaron Rodgers is probably not going to play with the Green Bay Packers this next season. He seems pretty mad. In Arcadia News, congratulations to boys tennis for their advancement in, sta in the state finals. To more news, the NBA playoffs start on Saturday, May 22nd. Hopefully the Suns do good. Back to you, anchors. Thanks for the sports report, Barrett. Another reminder that the end of the year party for 8th graders at Ingleside will be from 7 to 9 p.m. on Wednesday, the 26th. Attention new freshmen, Camp Katie this summer for new students is July 22nd through the 23rd from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Also, join Arcadia for the 2021 Seasonal Color Guard. No audition needed. It will be open to all interested students grade 9, 10, and 11. Simply attend the clinics today, May 17th and 20th, from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. in the band room, 2350. <laughs> Wear clothing. You can move, dance, and bring water. If you are having any questions, contact Mr. Gardner. Oh. All of this sounds exciting, almost as exciting as our amazing short films. Let's go take a look at that with Sam. Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. Thanks, anchors. It's Movie Monday, so let's take a look at some highlights of our three most recent and best short films. The first movie you will see right now is The Game. This movie you can re relate to yourself. In August, when we were taking online, this Zoom call takes a dark twist. Let's go. Who the heck just joined? Who is unknown? Like I know. <laughs> is this Jigsaw now? Dude, this is pretty weird. First, our teacher disconnects, and now some random dude joins the meeting. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Look, there's somebody there. Robert. 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 Look. What? I don't see anyone. Robert? Robert! Honestly, I think that's pretty scary. So, let's take an opposite turn and look at a more bright movie. This movie is about a middle school girl who goes through a change to disconnect from social media. Let's take a look at Better Than This. <gasps> She was on her phone and she didn't see me! Oh my gosh! Police? Yeah, I think I just hit a girl. You need to come immediately. Well, that was an interesting movie. 